Amazon just announced that they are killing all independent Shopify stores in the world and becoming even more powerful. You see, your Amazon Alexa has looked pretty stupid over the past few years, especially in the advent of ChatGPT, Claude, and yeah, even DeepSeek. But Amazon changed all of that today with a new AI-powered Alexa. So when Alexa came around 10 years ago, it seemed pretty awesome. Wow, you could set a reminder for Tuesday at 9 a.m. to register for swimming lessons, but today we expect more from our smart devices. ChatGPT is giving me counseling on a day-to-day -day basis for 20 bucks a month, where my Amazon Alexa can barely tell me the weather tomorrow. Well, Amazon looked to change all of that today, which is bad news for anybody running an e-commerce store. So Amazon announced a new AI-powered Alexa called Alexa Plus and a little preview. Amazon says the new AI Alexa is even going to sense how I feel. So the next time I've been put through a vicious loop with Amazon seller support staff for 48 cases, it's going to know I'm frustrated. But how bad of news is the new Alexa? And as a device, does it kind of still suck? I'm going to tell you what Amazon and your Alexa has in store for you as a consumer and as a seller. And oh yeah, how much it's going to cost you for one more Amazon subscription. So let's be clear, Amazon is not rolling out a new device just yet. It's rolling out AI capabilities called Alexa Plus. Alexa, up until now, hasn't really been AI. It's been kind of a one and done conversation. So you can ask it to do one very simple task, like set a timer, but it can't really do anything more complex. But today, all of that has changed with what I mentioned, Amazon is calling Alexa Plus. Yeah, no bonus points for creative names here. So Alexa Plus will integrate with your existing Alexa devices at some point. It's gonna start off with the Echo Show devices sometime over the next few weeks, and it will, of course, start with the US. So Canadians like me, well, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. It's clear though, as of this recording, that if Canada does in fact become the 51st state, if we'll get immediate access or not. What are the examples of what Alexa Plus will do? Well, here's a couple of examples. The first major difference with the AI-powered Alexa is going to be that it really becomes conversational. So in the past, you could ask Alexa a pasta recipe and it would give you one. But let's pretend it gave you a recipe that included garlic, ground beef, tomato paste, and shallots. But you don't have shallots because who even knows what a shallot is, yet alone has any. So you ask for a substitution. Your Alexa would be stumped, but not anymore. It can give you a substitution just like ChatGPT or any other real generative AI service can. Okay, cool. But here's the real game changer and also the scary thing. Your Alexa is going to remember things about you. So let's imagine that you told it a few weeks ago that you're a vegetarian. Well, the next time you ask for a recipe, it'll skip suggesting you to use ground beef altogether in that pasta recipe. Why is that scary? Well, Unlike ChatGPT, who requires you to actually type into it to know about you, your Alexa device is basically listening to you all the freaking time. And don't believe me? Well, I got access to all of the gigabytes of data that Amazon has been collecting on me ever since I bought my first Alexa years ago. And it was scary seeing everything that Amazon knew about me. And that was before AI. And let's just say your Alexa is listening to you far more often than when you simply prompt it with the word Alexa. So really, Amazon is going to end up knowing more about you than even your mother, let alone any other company in history. Combine that with AI, and it's going to be capitalism gone absolutely wild. Yeah, sure, it's going to mean more personalized product recommendations. So it's going to understand that I'm cheap and only play cheap $1 noodle golf balls. And it's also going to know that I suck at golf and it should recommend me to buy 36 balls instead of 12. But let's be honest, what's ultimately going to happen? Well, Amazon is going to be shoving highly personalized products down our throats, left, right, and center, and we're going to end up buying more useless products than we ever imagined possible. So if you're an Amazon seller, that's potentially great news because Amazon could end up recommending your products 
to consumers. But it's also really bad news. First, if you thought that it was hard for your little Shopify site to compete now, just wait. Your average Shopify site is going to have essentially zero personalized data on its customers where Amazon basically has unlimited data. Good luck competing with that. And do you think that your Alexa is going to be recommending Energizer batteries ahead of Amazon Basics batteries, let alone ahead of Dave Bryant's Small Seller Co. branded batteries? No way. There is a reason why the FTC is investigating Amazon for this very thing and for abusing its monopoly power. And this was all before AI. Okay, so if you're not busy right now journaling about whether you're going to be a red pill or a blue pill guy and deadly afraid of what generative AI will do to humanity, then let's talk about some of the other cool features which are coming with your Alexa Plus. So speaking of scary, Panos Panay, head of Amazon Devices and Services, said in their press conference that Alexa One is going to sense your emotions. Panay says it will check your tone and be able to sense emotions like nerves and proactively try to calm them. So if you're stressed out about Amazon killing your e-commerce business, don't worry, your Alexa will sense that and try to calm you down proactively and assure you that it's all going to be okay because your region is now looking for Amazon Flex drivers. Alexa One is also going to integrate with more services like Uber and Yelp. And this is legitimately pretty cool and one of the things that I'm actually looking forward to. So you can call an Uber with your Alexa or the best one, just have it make a restaurant reservation on Yelp for you. In fact, there's already AI services out there that can call any store or restaurant and speak to the staff as an AI bot. So we're probably not too far away from the point where we ask Alexa to call our daughter's school and let the secretary know that she's going to be away today because she's sick. You're also, right now, going to be able to move media from one device to another. For example, let's say you're playing some music in the kitchen while you're cooking, you can ask your Alexa to move that music to the living room. And in a little bit more techie jargon, Alexa, at least for now, is going to use Anthropic's LLM with Amazon's AI Nova secondarily, which probably means that Amazon's Nova AI model is playing a little bit of catch up right now with the major AI models like Anthropic and OpenAI. And finally, how much is this all going to cost you? Well, it's technically going to be $19.99 a month. That is unless you're a Prime member. If you're an Amazon Prime member, they say that they're going to include it to you for free. However, let me explain to you candidly what Amazon really means. Basically, Alexa One is going to be free for Prime members in the beginning while they test it out, gather data, and fix all the little bugs. Eventually, you'll be lambasted with advertising unless you pay for a premium subscription. Those are my words, not Amazon's, but which story do you believe more? All in all, it's some pretty groundbreaking changes in store for your Alexa. I, for one, am definitely a blue pill guy and would like Amazon to know that I hereby pledge my unwavering loyalty to our benevolent AI overlord, Alexa. So until the next one, happy prompting, happy shopping, and happy selling.